Hello and welcome to Abhid Shiksha. This is Daily News Analysis. Today is 15th of July 2023. Today's top news includes India's third lunar odyssey commences with perfect launch. Success of Chandrayaan launch vehicle gives Gaganyaan a leg up. Prime Minister conferred highest award of France. Jai Sankar stresses zero tolerance approach on terrorism. Justice Ujjal Bhuya takes oath as Supreme Court judge. Goods export slide 22 percent to eight month low. Skill India project successfully revives the dying Namda art of Jammu and Kashmir. To get the PDF of today's news analysis. Please join our Telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. India's third lunar odyssey commences with perfect launch. India's third moon mission, Chandrayaan 3, was successfully launched on board a launch vehicle Mark 3 LVM3 rocket from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota at 2.35 p.m. on Friday. This is India's second attempt at soft landing robotic instruments on the lunar surface after previous attempt. Chandrayaan 2 failed in 2019. Thus far, only three countries, the US, Russia and China, have successfully soft landed on moon. ISRO chairman As Somnath said the next 42 days are crucial. The landing is currently planned on August 23rd at 5.47 p.m. as Indian Standard Time if everything goes as far planned. Success of Chandrayaan launch vehicle gives Gaganyaan a leg up with human rated launch vehicle mark LVM to be used for upcoming Gaganyaan mission. The LVM-3's successful launch of Chandrayaan-3 on Friday gained further significance and it has enhanced the reliability of the launch vehicle. ISRO's Gaganyaan project is expected to demonstrate India's human space flight capability by launching three astronauts to an orbit of 400 km for a three-day mission and then bringing them safely back to Earth, landing them in Indian Sea. Prime Minister conferred highest award of France. Narendra Modi has become the first Indian Prime Minister to be conferred the Grand Cross of the Legion of Honor, France's highest civilian and military honor. With this, Modi joined the ranks of world leaders such as former South African President Nelson Mandela and former German Chancellor Angela Merkel, among others. Jai Sankar stresses zero tolerance approach on terrorism. External Affairs Minister S. Jai Sankar on Friday urged the members of the Asian Regional Forum to adopt a uniform, unified, and zero tolerance approach on the issue of terrorism, including dismantling the sanctuaries and financing networks. Addressing the Asian Regional Forum, ARF, ministerial meeting here in the capital of Indonesia, he underlined that India was responding to global challenges by promoting global cooperation to counter terrorism. The minister during his address focused on three current issues, maritime matters, Myanmar and terrorism, and applauded Indonesia's leadership in ensuring a strong and united Commemoration Forum Statement On Maritime Issue, Jai Sankar stressed the primacy of UNCLOS 1982 and support for Asians' position that it is the basis for determining entitlements. Justice Ujjal Bhuya takes oath as the Supreme Court Judge. Justice Ujjal Bhuya of Assam on Friday administrated the oath of office as a judge of the Supreme Court by the Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachod. The Chief Justice of India also administrated the oath of Justice S. Venkatadarayan Bhatti. Good 
export slides 22% to 8-month low. India's exports have declined over many months now due to slower demand from the US and Europe. June marked the seventh time in nine months that India's merchandise exports have declined. Growth slowed down and interest rate increases to curb inflation have dented demand in key markets in the West. But lower commodity prices have helped cut the import bill and keep the trade deficit in check. Skill India project successfully revives the dying Namda art of Jammu and Kashmir. On the eve of World Youth Skill Day, MOS Rajiv Chandrachekar flags off first batch of Namda art products for export to the UK. The Namda project exemplifies an extremely satisfying and defining outcome of PM Narendra Modi's vision for Skill India, which is about empowering people and creating new opportunities. Nearly 2,200 candidates from six districts have been trained under the project. The project has successfully trained individuals across six districts of Kashmir, namely Srinagar, Baramulla, Gandharbal, Gandibora, Bandipora, Badgam, and Anantnag. Thank you.